I'm Chris DeCroce. I'm a singer-songwriter here in Nashville. Wrote and produced my own records, uh, and uh, right now I'm currently just exploring other avenues and different writing possibilities, you know, but I've been on the road for almost 20 years. I started my music career, you know, with a bunch of friends in the garage, and then I uh, toured as a drummer for a long time, and then did the uh, Nashville trend of, you know, wanting to be a writer, and, you know, when you start to play drums for everybody and you go through the whole uh, cycle of rehearsing and arranging and touring and all that kind of stuff and then they change their plans as the artist or whatever you're kind of out on the sidelines as a side musician so it kind of paid that if you're gonna do all the work to start writing and evolve that way. Everything I've ever done always came from not having any money so you know I started to play guitar because I couldn't afford to play to hire guitar players on my sessions. I bought an O2R and I learned how to do some engineering because I couldn't afford an engineer you know but uh, I was the only independent act ever signed to uh, Play Farm Aid in 2000, so I got to kick off the whole show there. I opened some shows for Robert Plant by myself. You know, everybody wanted to hear Led Zeppelin, and they got me. And uh, so, yeah, the memorable experiences are usually something that are traumatic or actually uh, c catastrophic at the time, but then you look back and you laugh, you know, and it always, always ends up good. You know, what they say, don't, that doesn't kill you, makes you stronger or something like that. Anytime you can take something that makes me push a button or something out of the mix, I'm grateful because they've got so much crap in there right now that takes you out of the creation phase of music. So if there's something that allows me to get to the point faster, I'll be at a guitar cable and I'll embrace it in a second because we've gotten so wrapped around, you know, look at these buttons, they can do this, but it really doesn't help anything. I was just impressed with the whole thing that you guys were doing because you correlated it to exactly how it's going to help me as a musician, how it's going to help me as a producer, how it's going to help me as a songwriter, because it's going to let me plug my guitar in and get the idea. And it's going to sound good, and I'm not going to have to screw around with all these pedals and batteries and cables and all that crap that just, I mean, that's the reason that I started to do music, was for the music. I mean, I don't care what button you can push, I don't care. I play acoustic. I write everything on acoustic. I play acoustics live. That's where I've gone. I mean, I hardly play electric anymore because of all the stuff. I have an old 1950s Gibson Explorer amp, and I plug my old Tele or my old Guild into it, and I go into my tuner and into my amp, and that's it. I just want the cable to capture what my guitar sounds like, and I want it to make it sound good. That allows me to take other stuff out of the mix with batteries that alter the signal path and all that stuff, I'm all for it. Thank you.